Hey, Lynx. Hello. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, and for some of y'all, good night, because it's probably some of y'all bedtime wherever you are around the world. I just want to give you a big happy hello, peace and blessings to you. Chanel Monique coming to you once again live with another interesting and blessed video. Um, I won't be before you long again, another 20 minutes. I tried to switch my background up for y'all. I got my ancestors behind me at this point in time. Got my little safari going over here, okay? Um, wish I was in a safari right now, but instead I'm right here, which is the best place for me to be, and that's blessing you. Um, today, we will go before you uh, with a very interesting topic, and I am so excited to bring this topic to you today. Uh, a lot of prayer and a lot of just connecting with God so that I can bring the best energy for you today. Um, I want to start with a prayer. Please bow your heads. Father God, in the name of Yahshua, we thank you for this precious day, Lord. We thank you that you are a healer and a way maker, Lord. You can do all things but fail. Just for that, we thank you. We thank you that your mercy and your grace is just too much for us to even bear. We can't even compare to the mercy and grace that you shine upon us. So Lord, as I minister today to my lynx and my sheep, Lord, I pray that it resonates to them. I pray that you bless their homes even now, Father God, put a hedge around their homes, put a hedge around their vehicles, put a hedge around their children, Father God, give them traveling mercy if they are in their vehicles, Father God. But most importantly, Lord, let them be blessed through me as I let you and your spirit reign in my soul, Father God. Lord, we know that there is no other way and there is no one greater than you, Lord. So as we stand on this side, Father God, we ask you to give us the strength and the courage to press past the obstacles. We ask you to give us the strength and the courage to press past the insecurities. And Lord, for whoever had maybe a rough day today or things didn't go so well, but they still logged on, Lord, I ask you to just touch them right now, Father God. Touch them even through this screen, Father God. Anoint them from the top of their head to the sole of their feet. Take away anything that is unlike you, Lord. Do it for your glory, your protection, and your grace. Do it for your mercy, Father God. Do it even now, Lord. We thank you, Father God. We give you a hallelujah because we know that that is the highest praise, Lord. So even as we are uncertain about certain things that's going on in this world, Father God, even though COVID may be taking people out left and right, Father God, Lord, we stand on the side of you, Lord. We stand on the side of the most high God because there is no other way. So as you... um manifest in my heart today. And as the words come out of my mouth, Father God, let it be only your words. Let it be only your way. Let it be only your opinion, Father God, because my opinion is too insufficient. So Lord, we thank you. We give you honor, glory, and praise. In Yahshua's precious name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you so much for coming to my channel once again. Like I said, I try to switch up the background for you guys. Um, Today's topic is very interesting, and I found so many scriptures to bless you with today in regards to this topic, guys. And this topic today, bam, probably backwards to y'all. I'm going to try to figure out it if I can fix that, but work, 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 okay? And I know this may not be the holiest song, but I swear to you, when God gave me this one, all I could hear is Rihanna saying, work, 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 work. You see me, I be work, 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 okay? I was like, okay, hold on now, because I listened to the song and I'm like, mm, it ain't that holy, but I know work, work, work is what we need to do. In order for you to get to where you're trying to go, you have to put in the work, love. You have to put in the work. And if you want to bring your sheep in, if, if you want to bring the people in, it's going to be some sleepless nights. It's going to be some, some no's. You're going to have to say no to some people because it's time for you to step up, okay? So let's get right down to business because we don't have long and I have, like I said, a few scriptures that I'm going to go over and I got my glasses today, y'all. So I don't have to go off the camera and I got my kombucha. I think it's called kombucha. It's, it's real good. A little healthy drink. Let me drink some of that. This is the pomegranate kind, but I really like the um, 
I think it's called Apple Lady or something like that. That one is really good too. You can get these in the section with the, um, I'm not doing no advertising, okay? I'm not getting no money for that. But you can get these in the section, um, in the produce section at Walmart. Very, very healthy, very good. So many nutrients in it, about 80 calories, um, but it's like probiotics, okay? Like a probiotic tea. It's good for the gut. So again, you know, I told y'all, I'm always trying to uh, make sure I put the right things into my body and teach my kids what's right, right? So as we go into the first scripture, I'm going to uh, be coming from Genesis uh, chapter 2. So if you want to follow me, that's where I am. And I will put the scriptures down below because like I said, there's a lot of scriptures that I'm going to read today. Um, so I will put them down below. So when I looked up work and I began to pray and ask God which way he wanted me to go with this thing, um, the first thing came to me in Genesis uh, 2 and 2. And it reads, on the seventh day, which the canvas of the cosmos completed, God paused from his labor and rested. Okay. He put in a lot of work to create this earth. So we work, 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 work. This is going to be a twofold message because you have to put in the work, but you also have to get your rest. Okay. You don't want to put in so much work. You work in this job 100 hours, 80 hours. I get it. If you have a goal, I'm not telling you don't get your grind on, don't get your hustle on because, baby, I'm a hustler, okay? I'm a, I'm a hustler. I'm a, I'm a hustler, okay? So I know what it takes. But at the same time, you have to get your rest. You have to make sure you're putting the right things into your body, eating your vitamins, exercising, doing those things that you need so that your body don't break down on you. Because if you put forth all this work and you're doing all this hustling and grinding and you come at home and everything is beautiful and you crashing on the couch or crashing in the bed and you're not really even enjoying the fruits of your labor. I need you to remember that. You guys have to enjoy the fruits of your labor. So don't just put in so much work that you're not enjoying the fruits of your labor. Some people say, I got a goal. I'm going to buy a house. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to travel. That's all cool. But just make sure you make time for yourself. Make sure you have an end game. And when I say an end game, what's going to happen after you're doing all that work? What are you really doing it for? What's really your purpose in it? Okay. All right. So let me go to the next scripture. And the next scripture is coming out of the book of Proverbs. Guys, Proverbs is one of my absolute favorite books. It's just so many promises and so much uh, law, you know, to teach us in the book of Proverbs. And Proverbs, I'm coming to you um, in chapter 13. And I'm going to be reading chapter 13 and 4 and chapter 13 and 11. So I'll start with 4 first. And Proverbs um, 13 and 4 tells us, Slackers crave but have their fill of nothing but the hard wording working desires and are completely satisfied so slackers crave things slackers they want a lot of stuff they talk about all the stuff they want i believe the people who steal people who steal and rob people they slackers they don't want to put in the work i mean now granted some people do it for survival even though i'm going to say that the only surviving that you need is your faith in the lord and he going to see you through and it is programs out here and different things that you can do if you don't take um if you don't take those things for granted and you know do wrong by those things and then you're not able to to go to those organizations and things to get the help but there is a lot of help out here so i believe the people who want to just take from people they they just straight up slackers like you just don't want to put in the work, right? But it says, but the hard working desire and are completely satisfied. But some of y'all are hard working and you are not satisfied. You're never satisfied because you always trying to chase that dollar. But see, when you walking in your purpose and you doing what God sent you to do, you walking in that vision of God, you don't have to chase the dollar because they just going to fall. It's going to be like a money tree. It's just going to fall on you. Just going to drop down on you, right? So always remember that, Lynx. Remember that. You don't have to chase the dollar. If you're walking in your purpose and your vision, the dollar's going to chase you. Crazy. Okay? The next scripture goes more towards the back of the Bible, y'all. All the way in the back. Okay? Titus. Now, what I learned about Titus is that he was a young worker of Paul. Okay? And um, when you're working hard, you 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 working with courage because you have to have the courage to keep going. You're working in wisdom. 
because you got to use this in order to make the right choices and to do the right things and to work in the right places and to work smarter, not harder. Right. And then you have zeal. That's that that um, that great just you, you just got that greatness in you, that zeal, that fire. You know, you just doing everything to try to get it, that enthusiasm about it. You know, you got to have that enthusiasm about yourself. And most importantly, you have to have discipline. Because without discipline, you're not going to put in the work. It takes great discipline for me to get up here and, and get these videos together for you guys. Sometimes I'm tired. Let's just keep it real. But I know, again, like I always tell you, Lynx, when you have a purpose and a plan, when you are called by God, when you are chosen by God, it really ain't no time to sleep. And I feel like I'm kind of behind the game. I know people say, no, you're where you're supposed to be. No, I've been disobedient. I was disobedient for a long time. I was running for a long time. So now I feel like I'm trying to catch up, but not in an unhealthy way of trying to catch up. I just feel like it's people who need me. So I'm going to keep on going and keep on pushing and keep on fighting and put in the work, 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 work. You see me? I be work, 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 work. That is a jam though, y'all. Man, I wish I could play that song, but I don't have a copyright, okay? Um. Anyway, let's get back to it. So you have to put the work in. Stop saying what you're not going to do. I know I have a lot of people in my life who say, um, or trying to cut corners. We're trying to cut corners to do it because it's just going to be half done. The foundation going to be all week and it ain't going to last for long. Have you ever seen somebody, they get a business and I'll get back to that in a second. Sorry for jumping. I do that sometimes guys, but I'm going to remember where I was. They have their own business and their business do not last for long. It lasts long enough for them to get them a house, a car, maybe the finest clothes, um, you know, travel a little bit. And then next thing you know, that business don't even see five years. That business don't even see three years because they were in it for the wrong reason. A lot of people get in childcare for the wrong reason. A lot of people get in healthcare for the wrong reason. If your heart not in it, you're not going to be happy in that position. Don't just take a position because of the money that it will bring. Because like I just told you, if you walk it in your purpose, the money going to come, baby. It's going to come. So stop saying what you're not going to do. I know people like, I ain't taking the bus. If my car break down, I ain't getting on no bus. I just stay home or they'll quit their job or, you know, they not finna walk to work. Maybe they job and walking distance. I'm not walking to work. You know, I'm not doing that. I'd rather take a $60 Uber or a $40 Uber bus, uh, rather than getting on a bus because I ain't nobody finna see me on a bus. Because see, where I'm from, guys, where we're from, being on the bus is like a symbol of, oh, you're not having no money, which is the absolute most stupidest thing because, and I'm not trying to call anybody stupid, but it is ignorant to think like that because in many places, New York, Chicago, um, Vegas, that's how they commute. They commute on that train. They commute them by bus because they saving gas, they carpooling, whatever it take. But when we in these cities where, where, where we've been taught a certain kind of way, then people move a certain kind of way. It's time to stop moving like your city. It's time to stop moving like your city if your city ain't moving right. And I'm not going to say everybody in my city because I love my city, okay? City, home of the Bucks, baby. Bucks and Six. Home of the Packers. Cheeseheads. The best beer. The best party life. The best nightlife. I love Milwaukee. I'm repping it all day. Milwaukee raised me. Milwaukee breaded me. Milwaukee fed me. So I would never, ever... Say, I don't like my city. I love my city. I love where I'm from. I don't like the, hey, I don't like all this snow that we be getting, but I love my city and I'll rep my city, okay? So guys, um, people say, I'm not doing that or how did you get that? Or how, how did you get there being a single mom or a young mom? Because I did all the stuff. L listen to me. I did everything 